at the Drivers Hub, we've gotten the M340i a bunch of times. And every single time, Soham and Bhavneet have told you how good of a performance car it is. But the one thing that they always fail to understand is that not everyone is going to have the option of going fast all the time. So here we've got the new LCI BMW M340i. And today we're going to see exactly one thing. How good is it as a city car? finally reached our destination. The commute wasn't that long, it was actually only about 5-5.5 five, five kilometers. And uh, currently the 340i is faring really well. We've been driving the current Eco Pro mode to extract as much as we can from the fuel efficiency and so far it's been doing a good job. I think when we parked the car we were getting somewhere around 9.8 or 9.2 or something like that which is pretty decent. And the one thing I've realized is that when the car is in Eco Pro mode, it does not feel like you're driving a car that is powered by the B58. It feels like you're driving a regular 3 Series. The car is silent, it's softer and honestly it did a good job. And uh, as you can see my food is already here so we'll start eating and we'll then move on to the next venue. So we've just gotten done with our breakfast. All of us have just had a couple of sandwiches. And right now I'm just heading back to the office because I have some work to finish off. And once we're done with that, it's back to eating more food. Surprise! I've commandeered the shoot and I'm going to continue uh, for the rest of the video because Tanay feels a little bit under the weather. And what a way to come back after a holiday and start with a proper bang, a BMW M340i LCI. The plan for the day as I've been briefed, is to have food and drive the car slowly. That sounds like a great plan. What a life. Let's go. One thing I really enjoy about the M340i is its park assist. It's actually very easy to get into tight spaces thanks to how intuitive it is, how direct and how smooth it is to work because you can get into really tight spaces very easily and even the sounds aren't that strict. So you can get into really tight spaces without it making you panic. There we part. Food time. Grove Pizzeria at Barnet and the pizzas are really nice and so is my mocktail. So now we're going to be almost done with our pizza and then we're going to be back to the car which is the talking point. But until then... I'm going to stay eating my pizza. thing about the M340i is that when you're driving it around the city, it just feels like any other regular 3 Series. This is the only 3 Series that has a shorter wheelbase and the other variants that are part of the 3 Series lineup in our country are all long wheelbases. So if you want an SWB, you need to take the M340i. But I don't really think you're missing out on much because it is pretty much a regular 3 series to drive anytime and on a challenge like today 
we are going to be extensively using the eco pro mode the one downside i see from dailing this car would be the sportier more committed suspension yes those could be prices you pay for performance but uh, that is up, up to you if it's worth it or not but this being a short wheel base car how much do you actually lose on let's stop on the side get into the back seat and see what's it like behind the back seat of the M340i is actually not that bad at all it is pretty much a luxury sedan at the end of the day and that is exactly what it feels like you're surrounded by soft touch materials lots of speakers by Harman and Kardon and very nice mood lighting there are some shortcomings which could be the thigh support but uh, overall you've got quite a lot of stuff right behind for you to stay pretty comfortable for a long time you've got a type c charger three zone climate control so you can adjust the temperature at the back and you've also got a nice set of cup holders the seat isn't as reclined as you would like it to be but it is a rather nice place to be in three people would be a squeeze but two would be very comfortable but this car is a performance car and we cannot like really omit the aspect of performance and if you are going to be living with this car you are definitely someone who is going to be pushing the car some way or the other so enough with the back seat let's get back into the driver's seat and see what the car is really like pushing it occasionally since this is not my video and it is ultimately tanay's video i uh, was given strict instructions that i need to do a kitna deti hai and it needs to be as really realistic and optimistic as it can be so i was forbidden from the sport button however it's got to be realistic boys and if you buy this baby you are going to be using the sport mode because that's what you bought the car for so I say let's press that forbidden button and just enjoy that occasion of sporty driving since I mean it's made for this it it's I mean it's you know what I mean This is where it's at its element on a highway being able to push the car at sport mode this is where it gets tasty this is where the car likes to be and in the lci you've got that mild hybrid system that just em just fills in all of those empty gaps of power so now not only does it give you better mileage it also is beneficial for performance making this a much more enjoyable car and a well rounded off sport sedan so yeah this is just a perfect package and finding faults in it is rather difficult because there is pretty much very little competition in our country and there is also the fact that it can do pretty much anything you want the road clearance is good enough the it's not going to scrape anywhere unless you are going over a mountain but it's still a sports sedan it's still something that your wife would be like eh, it's a four door car no nothing big deal nice so yeah i really am impressed with the m340i and as i have said before this could be pretty much the only car you need in your garage and you might not need anything else unless you need to go off roading pretty much After having a heavy lunch we weren't that hungry to have a proper dinner so we decided to head to this cafe called Blue Tokai and enjoy some nice coffee with some snacks So we are at Blue Tokai a very famous cafe all over India and uh, 
we have decided to come to a cafe instead of dinner because we have been hogging the whole day and uh, we haven't pretty much done any form of uh, hard work today so we have just stopped here had a couple of coffees and we are going to be heading out home so this is pretty much the end of the day and i am very impressed with the m340i let's talk a little bit about the exterior and then end the day And just like that, we conclude a very fine day with a very fine machine. The BMW M340i definitely is a very good overall machine for any form of purpose apart from off-roading that is. This is a very nice car to live on the daily as per our numbers. We've achieved 7.2 kilometers to the liter today, covering 88 kilometers through the city in really really congested traffic, making this a very impressive number. that has taken us all by surprise and when it comes to the looks just look at it especially in this lci format you get the new bumpers all around and the new lights which make the car look really nice and also this red color is really growing on me so with that i'm going to say bye bye because we've had a pretty long day and it's been a really nice one thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one do let us know your thoughts on the bmw m340i lci and yeah let the comments go wild see you guys in the next one bye bye